When I was 14 and in middle school, I had the unfortunate, uh, I'm sorry, unfortunate uh, pleasure of being the ha uh, brother or half-brother, actually, of a very popular, soon-to-be graduate of, a, uh, of high school. It makes, it makes matters worse. His school was next to mine, so uh, the reach of all the girls who wanted to fuck him was long. He had the look of a rock star, a young Randy Rhodes or Leaf Garrett. Since we were living on the West Coast, uh, the blonde haired blue-eyed, Aryan look uh, was dug by uh, much more than anything I had to offer at the time. Our family was always moving around with our father being in the army and all. We would uh, be in Washington State one year, Germany the next. Me, most of the broads really didn't dig me too much. Truth is, I was a bit of a loner except for a few friends here and there. Some of them girls, but most of them, <clears throat> but most of them uh, wanted, for the most part, no. Okay. I never felt any ill uh, will towards Doug. Truth is, I tried to steal his moves, but was re but never really uh, able to pull it off very well. Anytime he and I were uh, getting stoned in the back seat of his 1974 Camaro, he would tell me of his latest conquest. I would listen intently while being trapped, uh, while being in the grip of uh, West Coast weed, do, uh, doing my best of not zoning out. Somehow, I always, uh, I was always able to hold on long enough for him to reach the end of his story. I knew he was finished because whatever he was saying was punctuated with a long pause. I never knew what to say, which was convenient since I wasn't able to rely on any semblance of a coherent thought in that, st in that state anyway. I do have to say though, when he, uh, when he used my bedroom to lay his girlfriend at the time we had bunk beds, <laughs> the awkwardness and depression of, Earl, of an early teenager was punctuated by general anger towards members of the opposite sex. There was, ne there was never any hatred, only anger. Things only grew worse when it was uh, only he and I in his car and he would point some seemingly random girl saying, I had her, or what a hose beast that one was. But I tried, but I tried to be like him, only managing some clumsy attempt at flirting. So matters really were not helped when I was uh, one day approached by a little blonde girl I had never seen before, nor could I figure out how she uh, could lock on me like a missile. At first I got excited thinking that she wanted to talk to me about going out sometime. Looking at me beaming, she asked, are you Doug's brother? I told her I was and asked what it was that she wanted. To which she replied, tell him I said hi. The smiling stranger told me her name, then disappeared around the corner of the lunchroom horde headed towards the cafeteria. At the time I blew off the encounter, uh, the counter days later forgetting about it altogether. A week later she came up to me and asked if I had given Doug uh, her message. Yeah, I lied. Well, what did he say? Nothing. <laughs> he has a girlfriend. Normally that should have uh, been the end of this situation, but no. For uh, next few weeks, this heat-seeking pest kept tracking me down, asking me about my brother. The last time, uh, last time went down like this. Doug would drive me to school most mornings, but first we would stop at his girlfriend's place, get stoned, then uh, waited for her to get ready, usually watching TV or playing her little brother's Nintendo. We were always pretty late for homeroom, which was never really much more than a coffee clutch anyhow. Before I was allowed to go to class, I first had to get a pink slip to signify my being late. On this day, I was getting out of his car. I heard a voice over my shoulder. Hi, Doug. I never, I, there was, oh, there was no need for me to turn around. I knew who it was, so I just headed straight to the office to get uh, my slip and then off to class. Later that day during gym class, which started the same way every time, we had a unisex run around the perimeter of the gym 
before boys and girls were separated and placed into different rooms, the girl ran up to me and uh, stated once again, beaming, I said hi to your brother, did you hear me? No, was my reply. She ran off with a somewhat disappointed look on her face. I had, I had uh, once again forgotten about her and, and uh, her obsession with my brother. Later in the day, she found me again in the hall and handed me a note. Doug, this, uh, give this to Doug, would you, would you please? I told her I would. She turned the corner and then disappeared. Most little shits that age would have read the letter, but I decided to, uh, to respect her privacy, but not her request. I threw, the, I threw the piece of paper into the garbage and walked out into my out uh, to my next class. I never saw her again in that uh, after that, nor did I tell Doug about her until years later. Man, I could have fucked her was his reaction. Why didn't you give me that letter? She was just a kid, man. You were 18 or 19 when she was 14. Oh yeah. <laughs>